Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt and this is my wife Samantha. Hello. And today we are watching The 40 Year Old Virgin. What do you know about this movie? Okay, so I have not seen this movie. I have. I thought I had seen this movie and we were actually watching the news the other day. I don't know what the context of this story was, but they started playing, I guess, a clip from this movie. Yeah. We were sitting on the couch and I was like, oh, I was like, what movie is that? And it was a clip of Paul Rudd <laughs> getting real pissed off at the choice of music. And he was saying that he was going to take himself out if that music kept playing. And that was on the news. <laughs> That's just like a comedy clip. You were like, I've never seen that before. I'm like, what are you talking about? That's from 40 Year Old Virgin. So I think that I was confusing 40 Year Old Virgin and Knocked Up. So. So you've seen Knocked Up. I've seen Knocked Up. So I haven't seen this movie. So I know it's Steve Carell, which that's what shocks me that I haven't seen this because I love Steve Carell. It's a little bit of everyone. I mean, Steve Carell, Paul Rudd, Seth Rogen, Jonah Hill. It includes a ton of comedy forces. Yeah. So I think it was just such a shock that it escaped your radar. Yeah. And then we like triple confirmed that you have not seen this movie. Yeah, he was like bringing up like random things without being spoilery. And it's like, do you know this? And I was like, no. Yeah, so no spoilers, but we're for sure that you have not seen this. Yes. So I, the second we found that out, we're like, okay, the moment spooky season is over, because we just learned this like a week or two ago. Yeah. So the second we're done with spooky season, 40 year old virgin. So here we are. <laughs> so I think you're gonna like this a lot. Obviously you love Steve Carell. I think he does a great job of like heart and comedy and making you love his character. Mm -hmm. So I'm super excited to watch this again. I've seen it a handful of times. It's probably been a couple of years since I've seen it. So I'm sure there'll be some stuff that's a little fresh just because my memory gets wiped. But I'm just super excited for you to experience this for the first time. Yeah, I'm excited. I am shocked. <laughs> Pleasantly shocked. Pleasantly shocked. I'm excited that we get to experience this now on the channel. Yeah. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on our Twitch, Instagram, or Twitter, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, let's get into the movie. Okay, so Apatow, that's like... Judd Apatow. Yeah, but yeah. he's done like a ton of... Yeah, he's uh, controls comedy for quite a while. Yeah. Hey, Mystery Science Theater 3000. It's kind of like our... It used to be much more like it, but we're still kind of like that. <laughs> oh my god. It's just super backed up. <laughs> Look at all those action figures. He's got a lot. Have you ever thought about the concept of peeing with an erection? <laughs> Survivor, tomorrow night, we on? See you then. I'll bring the soda. Hey, uh, enjoy your orange. Okay. That's Survivor. That guy needs to get laid. Aww. What is the difference between high eight and digital? Welcome to Smart Tech. How can I be of service to you? Yikes. So confidence is kind of lacking here. Oh, yeah. I had a weekend. We went to uh, Tijuana. <laughs> you got to check out one of these shows. It's a woman fucking a horse. <laughs> Talkie show? It is not as cool as it sounds like it would be. Kind of gross. <laughs> yeah. It was really giving it to her. <laughs> What do you get up to? <laughs> um, what a story for the weekend. Got Friday when I went home, I really wanted an egg salad sandwich. I spent, I don't know, probably three hours. And then by the time I was done, I just really didn't feel like eating it. I can imagine. And I didn't have any bread. <laughs> it's a good weekend. Sounds pretty awesome. <laughs> hey, Paula. Yeah. I gotta tell you something. <laughs> this is the clip you saw. Oh. If you don't take this Michael McDonald DVD that you've been playing, I'm going to kill everyone in the store and put a bullet in my brain. <laughs> I'm going to Yamo burn this place to the ground. <laughs> Such a smart ass. Yeah, why did they play this on the news? <laughs> I don't know. They played that whole clip on the news. Oh man, we need what? Five guys that play a decent poker game, right? So he's a really nice guy and all, but I'm pretty sure that he is a serial murderer. <laughs> playing some poker. I thought, you know, he'd want to play. Yeah, sure, that'd be cool. I'll see you guys tonight. Okay. All right. Oops. <laughs> oh, he's so dressed up. He's nice and ready for guys night. And a full house. Oh, how much fucking online poker do you play, dog? Just like an hour or two a night. <laughs> Just an hour or two? Fuck you, DJ. <laughs> Fuck you, you and you. Peace. All right, man. Fuck a go. <laughs> Oh shit, I gotta go. Does your girlfriend know about all these late night visits? There's nothing you can't do with this woman. I don't even know she can walk. I've never seen her standing up. 
I was sleeping with a woman recently. Tits were unbelievable. Oh, man, I love titties, so. <laughs> Everyone's drinking beer and he has a Fanta. Our souls were connected in this way. I can't describe it. Time stood still. Don't nobody want to hear that shit? Yeah, man, come on. Nobody wants to hear that shit. Aw. Would you please help him redeem himself by telling a real sex story? Yes. Uh, oh. I dated this girl any time of day. She was like, yeah, let's go. And I'd be nailing her. Oh, shit. She <laughs> She'd be like, yeah, let's screw. Let's. I want to <laughs> fuck. Super convincing. She have like, you know them little pink teeny nipples? Oh yeah. Like or, or like the long National Geographic nipples? Long. <laughs> Braille nipples of Stevie Wonders. Stevie Wonders. It feels like a bag of sand when you're touching it. Dude, are you gay? No. It, dude, it's not a big deal. You like to fuck guys. I'm cool. I got friends that fuck guys. In jail. In <laughs> jail. Are you a virgin? Come on, don't be mean. I'm not being mean. I'm trying yeah. to help the pot now. I'm trying to say I want to get you laid. From now on, your dick is my dick. <laughs> oh, no. It all came out first night. The bag of sand. Come on, man. <laughs> Girl, we <me> so stupid. <laughs> I, uh, it's going to be fine. They don't even remember. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. It's all night long. This is going to be bad. <laughs> Hey, David. Hey, Andy. All good. So far, so good. Hey, Andy. Hey. We're going to have to get you some Funani. <laughs> oh, no. It's going down, partner. We're going to be... Oh. Don't let them bother you. It's okay not to have sex. 25? I'm 40. Holy shit. <laughs> Connection is set up with cock and ass and <laughs> all this rusty trombone and dirty Sanchez. Please stop. And... That's enough. Party's oh. over. Let the virgin get back to work. Oh, <laughs> no. Get away from me, David. Wait a minute. Stop following me. Hold up. I respect women. I love women so much that I completely stay away from them. <laughs> I am making your silver pants blue. It's having a great time. <laughs> when I was young, I tried and it didn't happen. Then I got older and I got more and more nervous. And I don't know, I just kind of stopped trying. You gotta take a risk. Greatest thing in my life. Until she went down on this guy in an Escalade, I think. <laughs> I think. <laughs> I dumped her. The last two years of my life regretting it. She wants to be some immature little bitch and blow everybody. <laughs> That's love, man. That's love. <laughs> You call them a bunch of times, and you try and email, and then they move, or they change their email. But that's just love. <laughs> Come out with us this weekend. No pressure. We'll just have a good time. Sex should be the last thing on your mind. <laughs> uh oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> just an even bigger one. <laughs> Oh, Try to get away from it. I never had oral sex before. It's gonna kick. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh! You know what else is sexy? Toe. Oh, that's what you want to suck? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. You should just give up forever. <laughs> Cal, what do you think? Is this too yellow? What's Curious George like in real life? You about to go run down some drunk chicks. I want vomit in the hair, bruised up knees. Bruised knees? How do you think a lion knows to tackle a gazelle? It's a code written in his DNA. In every man, there's a code written that says, tackle drunk bitches. <laughs> okay, how do um, I tell which ones are drunk? <laughs> Bachelorette? <laughs> Who wants penis cake? <laughs> <laughs> Betty Cocker. <laughs> You have really kind eyes, you know that? Your hat is sequins. <laughs> that worked. You have your hands on my belt. What? Your hands are on my belt. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> First night. Suck it up. Drive it. Uh... <laughs> I didn't have anything to drink. Go into this? <laughs> what is this? 
Um, the judge recommended I get one. <laughs> recommended? Oh no! <laughs> the music! A PT Cruiser? Let me tell you something, Dan. Don't ever be named Dan. Oh no. You're not a jack. Oh, oh. I cannot watch throw up. You think I'm pretty? Look at that! I'm lying. You're pretty! You're pretty! God, I just wanna live! <laughs> I'm so tired. Hey, hey! Get off the wheel. Some fucking French toast. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> a fucker came out of nowhere. Oh. Was that a parked car? <laughs> I don't think so. What's the matter? <laughs> Ew, it's purple. <laughs> I'll still have sex with you if you want. You know what? I think I'm going to pass on the sex. <laughs> Did you have a daiquiri tonight? Yeah. I thought you might. <laughs> You making the pussy into this great big Greek goddess named Pussalia. <laughs> Can one of you guys help me, please? No Ablo English, lady. This one looks pretty good. Oh, you don't want to buy that VCR. Uh, VCR and DVD combo. That technology would be probably pretty good for six months or so. Yeah. <laughs> I work right across the street, though we sell your stuff on eBay store. So, but you don't actually sell anything in the store? No, no, I don't. So why do you have a store? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? Um, you should come by sometime if you want. See for yourself. Check Bye. it out. Here's um, my number, so. Hey! Got a number. Why do I need your number if you're across the street, though? <laughs> so I'll write you up and I'll meet you over at the register. Okay. Check, check you out. Check out. Okay. <laughs> so bad. Give me some credit. The man pulled a number. Man. That's just, I was in, I can't believe that happened. <laughs> when should I call her? You like her? Yeah. Yeah, you definitely don't want to call her. When is the next Olympics? <laughs> Get you a bunch of these hood rats. And once you've done slayed like 20, 30 of them hood rats, now you ready. <laughs> hood rats. I'm Sorry. not a big hole runner. My uncle used to drive a hole runner. <laughs> you were going to be so bad at sex the first time, you don't want to have sex with someone you like. You'll be mediocre at it. Probably still pretty bad. <laughs> He's one of the guys. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh, nice. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be so bad. <laughs> I can't be in public. Do it. I'm shy! <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear what you say. <laughs> can't help himself. <laughs> Do you think a woman would find me attractive? Oh my god! <laughs> Are you ready for my honest answer? Yes. I think you're a good looking cat. You gotta highlight your attributes. See that whole Teen Wolf thing you got going right there? You just need to wax that right out. Does it hurt? No, I mean, not unless you're a bitch. <laughs> Hi, how are you? So, this is your first time getting body waxed? Yes, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's so much hair. Clear all my appointments in the afternoon. <laughs> oh no. I like your sweater. Is that coming to V-neck? <laughs> oh, you fucker! Does it look good? Yeah. <laughs> Does it look good? Ooh, it looks it's so pink. Ooh. It's gonna be like 30 more strips. <laughs> the first one's the only one that hurts. Yeah, well those hairs are pretty deep. <laughs> Just much <laughs> oh my god, it's so red. It's so bad. Throw oh, up. right down the middle. Ready? Yep. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. Cocksucker, motherfucker! No, Kelly Clarkson! <laughs> wow, I hate you! She is having so <laughs> much fun. Oh, you're doing the oh, no, 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 seriously, I think I'm done. This is not a good look for me! You look like a man-o-lantern. Thank you very much. <laughs> I just realized it's like in the shape of a face. It's a face. 
It's just bleeding. Oh my god! I, I kind of thought you were a serial killer. <laughs> I'm not joking. You should ask her out, man. Something wrong with her underpants. <laughs> yeah, they're not in my mouth. <laughs> you need to plant a lot of seeds. It's like this. When I was growing pot, I realized... Did they just break that? <laughs> just ask question. Okay, that's it. Be David Caruso in Jade. Can I help you? I don't know. Can you? <laughs> Are you looking for something? Is there something I should be looking for? <laughs> Maybe it depends on what you like. What do you like? Do it yourself. Do you like to do it yourself? Sometimes. <laughs> Mood strikes. How is the mood striking you now? <laughs> Don't tell on me, okay, Andy? I won't. Unless you want to be told on. Wow, that totally <laughs> worked. <I'm... laughs> Should I pass her out? No, no, that's the key. You wait for it to grow into a plant, and then you fuck the plant. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> that went so well. <laughs> Hello? Hey, how you doing? Who is this? This is James. Are you a telemarketer, James? Get a knife and run into it. Why do you do that, okay. huh? Nice to talk to you. Fuck your mother, okay? <laughs> Bye-bye. That went well. Oh, my God. Got a big box of porn for you. Oh. Amy and I, we used to watch Harry Twatter. <laughs> Boner Jams 03. It's a mixtape I made. Everybody loves Raymond. This is a good show. I just... <laughs> I don't want this stuff, okay? Because I don't do that that much dude i've i've jacked it twice since i've been here <laughs> you're like one of these action figures all hermetically sealed in your box you gotta you gotta play with don't 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 take your porn with you i'm not taking it <laughs> i don't want your giant box of pornography no, no, no. come on man it's so uncool i don't want to watch school of cock with you <laughs> still yelling outside oh <laughs> it's intriguing Gotta set the mood. <laughs> Don't look at me. I think there's a fire hazard on that headboard. <laughs> there's a lot of candles. Space. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing is ever good enough, and it's always our fault. <laughs> it is a good show. Hey, Andy, what are you doing for lunch? We're gonna go around the corner. I think you should come with us. A lot of cute girls. Pretty fancy. Date Something going on? Hey, who's ready to have some fun? Oh, speed dating? Oh man, I forgot this part. Man, you about to cram like 10 years of pimpage into one day. After that, you on my level. Doctor? <laughs> Hi, how are you? I'm fine. Are you fine? You're fine then. The hell's the matter with you? Amy, what are you doing here? Oh, <laughs> Gina? Gina. Hey, what's up? <laughs> We've been broken up for like two years, man. I don't want to date you anymore. You're a whore. <laughs> this is so us. <laughs> Look at us. You're a good looking man. Thank you. Very pretty. It's a real feminine, <laughs> simple sort of transition. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Tuck your sack back. You game? What? <laughs> Just stop fucking around with my friend. I moved. I changed my email address. And he's practically stalking me. Well, I didn't know all that. <laughs> like, population of like 500 people. What about you? You're used to like a really big city. Really? <laughs> oh my God. So safe, there was no <laughs> Come crime. On. I mean, a girl could just walk completely safe. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you who was the hottest. You're gonna think I'm crazy, but I'm gonna tell you. Gina. <laughs> Gina. Gina. <laughs> oh no. You know it's a fun game? Take three eccentric PMs and you see if you could whack off before you fall asleep. <laughs> you always win is the best part. <laughs> Did you write this stuff? My girlfriend Jill found your speed dating card. Ho for show. She was a ho for show. <laughs> hey Amy, how's it going? Oh no. Hey, have you been doing a lot of this? Oh. <laughs> sir, <laughs> please, <laughs> sir. Please. Sick son of a bitch. Why don't you back the shit off, all right? and stop with the Inquisition. I don't have to answer to you. You ain't my bitch. <laughs> you shouldn't even be hanging out with this pervert. I don't hang out with him. You should keep your hoe on a leash. 
You missed that ass? No. <laughs> That's the ass of a free man. Take a look at your pal. He's performing a public colonoscopy. <laughs> people too and i know that's a frightening <laughs> let's stop right there get out there and start selling some shit oh shit <laughs> oh hi <laughs> we need to like really facilitate things a bit more i am throwing a party tonight are you free <laughs> that was a joke man i know you're free <laughs> why won't we invite to the party what are we al-qaeda <laughs> you yeah, go fuck a goat why are you always telling me to fuck a goat oh, man no. oh. what kind of party is it then Hello. Oh. Hello. I mean, a transvestite prostitute isn't helping me. Do you guys even like me? Look at him. He looks just like Luke Wilson. <laughs> Luke Wilson? How did you know that she was a man? Because her hands were as big as Andre the Giant's. <laughs> you did this because we're your friends, and we didn't think you had the balls to do it yourself. Okay, watch this. Oh. Oh. Confident Andy walking across the street. Hi. Andy! Do you want to go out sometime? Yes! Free this weekend if you, um, if that's okay. Or you could call me tomorrow and we can just firm it up. Oh my god, he's so young! Right? These are wonderful. I'll take these. I don't actually sell anything here. I just sell them on eBay. Oh. I don't get it. <laughs> Good luck to you. And to you. And, uh, I'll give you a call. Yeah, I know. I wish it could be that easy, but... I wish uh... too. But you're making it extremely difficult for me. <laughs> I feel great. Celibacy is the way to go, man. Andy had it right. <laughs> no she devil sucked his life force out yet. So you're gay now? I'm just celibate. You just told me you're not sleeping with women anymore. You know how I know that you're gay? You're gay and you can tell who other gay people are. <laughs> you like Coldplay. What time do you want to pick me up? I ride a bike. I love getting on the back of a motorcycle. My boyfriend in college. <laughs> Bicycle. Bicycle. Oh. You like the movie Made in Manhattan? I saw you make a spinach dip in a loaf of sourdough bread once. Yum! You have a rainbow bumper sticker on your card that says, I love it when balls are in my face. <laughs> She's, uh, picking me up in an hour. That's fucked up, man. None of this shit is sexy, okay? Tell me what I should do. Take everything, and we move it out of here so it doesn't look like you live in Neverland Ranch. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna have an empty apartment? <laughs> it's totally empty. Do you just move in or something? I'm having carpet put in tomorrow, so uh. I should tear up the hardwood and see if there's carpet underneath. <laughs> <laughs> That's never the case. <laughs> My last boyfriend drank a lot. This is just punch. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. A little bit. Fine. Punch. <laughs> that was what? great. Happy birthday. <gasps> it's your birthday, too. <laughs> Okay. Wow, this is really gonna happen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you need some help? I think I almost got him. <laughs> hey, wait. Do you have protection? I don't like guns. <laughs> Thanks. I have condoms right here. Check the expiration date because they were from when I was married. Pass this condom. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Over the balls. Over the balls. I cannot believe that you're allowed to have sex, but I'm not. That is so unfair. I, I'm gonna head out. <laughs> How many times did you just do it? Oh my god. <laughs> no. Dude, teach me. <laughs> Show me your ways. I've been thinking about your problem. I think I might have a solution for you. You ever heard of the term fuck buddy? By the time I was 14, I had this body you're looking at. Can you imagine that? I don't want to. <laughs> Guatemalan gardener, Javier. Okay. Okay. <laughs> he serenaded me with a beautiful old Guatemalan love song. Donde va con tanta prisa? <laughs> 
I gotta figure out what this song says. Partido de football. <laughs> There's no way that's romantic. So you mull it over. All right, I will. Talk Thank you. you. <laughs> she put it out there. How was the day with Trish? Uh, it was a disaster. She was hiding a kid from you, though? You don't want no baby daddy drama. For all you know, he in prison right now. What if he got boys that's on the outside? You don't what want the fuck to... are you talking about? <laughs> you tell her you're a virgin. This is how it's gonna go. Tell me. Yeah, I'm a virgin. I like that because you don't have chlamydia. <laughs> I am going to tell her. Because I watched this movie called Liar Liar, and the message was don't lie. <laughs> this is Joe and Sarah. Hi. Hi, Trish. Hey. Yeah, Aww. my man's gonna get it on tonight. <laughs> Let me, t I, I have something I want to tell you. Here? I have two kids. Uh, wow, okay. Six. 16. 21. 42. <laughs> oh, and one of them has a kid. Oh. A one-year-old. Maybe we should hold off on the physical part for a while. That is a fantastic idea. <laughs> music to his ears. You know, three dates, make it 10. 10 dates. Screw your 15. 20 days. It's gonna hurt. Yeah. Not as much as you think. <laughs> we yeah. can really get to know each other this way. Yeah, this is one, right? Uh-huh. No, next one. <laughs> no, this one doesn't count. You remember Marla? Hi, we met. And this is my little bunny rabbit. You had something shiny behind your ear. Marla, did you see that? Something behind your ear? <laughs> Big money! <laughs> Crip! It is your ear. <laughs> okay, but that means that you walk around with a rubber ear in your pocket all day? <laughs> you know, I can come to your high school and do it for your friends if you want. <laughs> so I have to give you a ride home. Oh, right. He doesn't have a car and he does magic. Awesome. I'm right there with you. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Did you, did you tell her you're a virgin? I haven't gotten to that yet. And one of her kids has a kid. <laughs> <laughs> so, so she's a grandma? No. <laughs> you are by far our best salesman. Cool. I am uh, promoting you to floor manager. Wow. Come back, ask it, sir. <laughs> are you still a virgin? I don't really talk about my personal life. You're a virgin. Yes, I am. <laughs> the door's always open, so to speak. Great. <laughs> I don't be a Negro, be my nigga. I ain't nobody's nigga. Move forward amicably. You throwing too many big words at me. Because I don't understand them, I'm gonna take them as disrespect. <laughs> Today's forecast, dark and cloudy, and chance of drive-by. <laughs> you broke up with me. Why'd you cheat on her? Because I'm insecure, you can't tell. Do you know how I know you guys are gay? <laughs> oh! They're opening them? Probably ones she was willing to give away. This is easier than teaching him how to drive. I've been thinking lately that maybe I should open my own store. Why don't you do that? I don't have enough money to do that. I just sold the guy's G.I. Joe for a thousand bucks. I have 47 of them. <laughs> I could help you sell them. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Wow. Aquaman. Hey, this is sad. Yeah, giving away his whole collection. You don't want to go, do you? Okay, you can stay. <laughs> Marla locked herself in the bathroom. What happened? She wants to go to the family health clinic. She wants to take control. Maybe I should take her. A little information never hurt anybody. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> where, where do you put the penis? <laughs> uh, I have a question. Some of the people here might be sexually inexperienced. <laughs> it's true that if you don't use it, you lose it. Instead of having intercourse, you could have outer course. Outer course. Prefer a vaginal intercourse. <laughs> he really does. He really does. Body rubbing or dry humping. You could dry hump. Mutual masturbation. Play with a friend. Deep. <laughs> are there any virgins here who are thinking about having sex for the first time? You know what? I'm a virgin too. We're virgins too. Yeah. <laughs> you know what your problem is? You're putting a pussy on a pedestal. <laughs> I can't listen to any more of this because it's making me sick, so bye. Do you have any extra large condoms? Oh, Seth, you got a tiny penis. 
I made that all up to help you out. Uh, no, you didn't. How can you tell? Well, you know, I go to school with like 400 guys who are all trying to have sex. <laughs> Please don't tell your mom, okay? Yeah, I won't. Thanks. When are you gonna tell her? <laughs> Believe me, I'm working on it. This is my baby right here. That's my baby's dick right here. <laughs> Look at what he's packing. Everybody dick looks big on 16-inch TV. My <laughs> sister's dick looks big on TV. I wouldn't have done it without you. Thanks. That's not the only good news. You know what tonight is? 20th date. It's our 20th date. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Are we sure? I really like you. I think I'm falling for you. I gotta pick those up. Andy, I'm throwing package. myself at you, and all you can think about is fucking toys. They're not fucking toys. I'm trying to help you grow up, Andy. Well, thanks a lot. Is it because I have a kid who has a kid? I love the fact that you're a grandma. Oh, God! You are. <laughs> I didn't ask for any of this. You asked for all of it, Andy! Okay, great. Shoot! Sex just complicated the relationship. Oh! Dangerous. I hired a 90-pound girl to work in the stock room at Smart Tech <laughs> for you. You hired her for me? Yes. Oh, what a good friend. Yeah. Can you just flick me in the nuts? Girl, quit flicking my balls, man. I'll start punching your nuts. <laughs> okay, thank you. No problem, man. Go get him. He needed it. That baby looks Pakistani. Don't fucking look at me, okay? You got good genes. <laughs> well, how old are you? What, 138? When your son is born, is he already in parole? <laughs> <laughs> I need genital to genital connection, and that's all I need. How much have you had to drink, man? <laughs> oh, how much have I had to drink? <laughs> hey, 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 mother. <laughs> how did he even do that? <laughs> you were right all along, and now I have to go hunt for some hoes. <laughs> Out. Kyle said you were celibate. No, I just said that so he wouldn't hit on me anymore. Oh. <laughs> How you doing? Oh, much better now that I'm talking to you. Take this party to my apartment or what? I am RSVP. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you have a big trunk, because I'm putting my bike in it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where's Andy? We had a big fight. I like seeing you happy. Mm. Why don't you just go? Talk to him. Work it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> that was a fun day. <laughs> Let's yeah. shave each other. I don't think you have any uh, hair. But luckily he's at her place, right? Yeah. Wow. Uh -huh. Ow! Wow! <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah! Wow! Almost on my pier! Almost on. I'm gonna really take care of you tonight. Mm. Oh. <laughs> uh oh. Hey, hi, it's, it's me. I want to introduce you to my friend. Your friend is so shiny. <laughs> this is how I'm gonna warm up for you. That's always good to warm up. You don't want to pull something. <laughs> so awkward. This is graphic. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? That woman scares the shit out of me. I just want to go home. Hey. <laughs> yeah. What's this? Oh, those are David's. Boner jams of three? <laughs> he compiled all the best boner scenes, I guess. <laughs> what does this look like? <laughs> Steal that? Her vagina. <laughs> what are you, some kind of sex pervert? Oh, come on. Well, you're not gonna try and kill me, are you? <laughs> Everyone thinks he's a serial killer. I need to talk to you! To the eruption. Oh my god! Oh, yep, just, oh, I'm god. gonna need a minute. <laughs> are you okay? No, I'm not okay. I'm a virgin. Is that what all this was about? It's okay, I thought you were trying to kill me. <laughs> I love you. Get the fuck out of the room, <laughs> virgin! <laughs> I realize now that it was just because I was waiting for you. 
Oh. <laughs> How to pay for all this? Dude sells his toys and makes like a half a million dollars. <laughs> you gonna get some fucking toys. <laughs> you may kiss the bride. <laughs> for God's sake, consummate the thing! <laughs> hey, you can come in and sit down if you want. We're wait in the lobby, it's okay. Dude, get the fuck <laughs> out of here! Oh, you're officially not a virgin. <laughs> cool. Cool. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Want to do it again? Yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was good. That was okay. <laughs> it's a, quite an improvement. So how was that for you? When the moon is <laughs> What is happening? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Quite an ending. All right, that was the 40 year old virgin. What'd you think? That was so great. It's such a good movie. My cheeks like hurt. Oh, yeah. Bad after watching that. And we even took a quick intermission there and my cheeks are still hurting. <laughs> I said in the intro, I love Steve Carell. I'm a huge Office fan and I've seen a lot of his movies. I really like Crazy Stupid Love. Yeah, that's a big one. I mean, he's in so many great things. Yeah. The cast in general in this was stacked though. I was not anticipating that this whole thing of us watching this stemmed from us seeing that scene on the news. Yeah, with Paul Rudd. Yeah, so I knew Paul Rudd and I think it's Jane Lynch was in that scene, right? As well. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I knew the two of them were in it, but this cast was huge. Oh yeah, I mean, it's a mega cast. It's a resurgence or kind of a coming out for a few people. For me, this is just such an iconic movie because it came out, I saw it probably close to around when it kind of came out. And that's why I was so shocked that you haven't seen it just because it is such a great movie because it aligns with so many things that you love like Steve Carell yeah. and like clever, funny comedy. Yeah. And also like a really good story. Like there's a really good romantic story between our characters of Andy and Trish. Yeah. That's really kind of at the heart of it. When you start watching the beginning of the movie, it makes it seem like, oh, maybe he's just going to, you know, a, be a funny movie about him sleeping with like a lot of women or yeah. something like that. But it never becomes that. No, and honestly, like, yeah, you have the great relationship with Andy and Trish, and I loved that. I loved like watching him get so, like intertwine in her family too as well. Like yeah. they just had like a real connection, real relationship. And I loved that. But I also loved his relationship with the guys at the store. That's another thing too. It's like at the beginning you think, oh man, you know, he's so afraid of how people are going to treat him. And is he just going to be constantly made fun of and be like the butt of the joke? And they tease him a little bit. But yeah. from very, very early on, this group of guys really becomes his closest friends. Yeah, they they actually want to help him. They're having fun with it as well because obviously they like to just go out and party too. Yeah. But just to see how close they all get just with the start of, oh, hey, we need a fifth for our poker game. Right. And they also are like good friends to each other. If you have like the example of like hiring a Bernadette for you know, the position to get uh, Paul Rudd out of his funk or something yeah. like that. Or they learn a little bit from Andy as well. And Jay is able to stay in his relationship to kind of raise his kid and stuff. So mm -hmm. it's like, it's not just all about helping Andy. Yeah, no, they all help each other. I thought that was such a sweet moment with Cal and David. Yeah. With the whole Bernadette situation. So it's just like a nice kind of heartwarming movie anyways. Yeah. So you really get a little bit of everything with this movie. So it's it's such a good film. There's so many just like hilarious moments. Yeah. Like the whole movie is so clever and so funny. Yeah. But you have like iconic moments too. The waxing scene. Yeah. Which I'm like 99% sure all real. Like. Duh. Oh, there was a decent amount of reactions in this movie that seemed legitimate. Yeah. The waxing, I would say when Elizabeth Banks slaps Steve Carell with the belt. <laughs> yes. That yeah. seemed like a genuine reaction. Yeah, he was like, oh, fuck, that hurts. <laughs> How his like face 
continues on until it comes off in that moment and she like sees it and is like, oh yeah, that was a crazy day. Yeah, and like he just, he kept it. Like he didn't bother shaving the rest of it or yeah. anything. But I mean, that made Andy such a good character. It was like kind of heartbreaking in the moment to see him like reverting back and blaming Trish with her selling his action figures and everything. And she was wanting to have him pursue his dreams of opening up a store and he didn't want to let that go. And he took his insecurities about sex and just kind of like projected it onto her so yeah. that he could create a fight. Yeah, it was like the fear of change and you know, yeah. obviously the situation with the sex and stuff. And so that's a rough scene too. I also didn't really realize how rough of a scene too, like when he's first packing up all the toys, I always just kind of thought, Oh, this whole thing's just kind of funny. Yeah. But you kind of responded to it like, oh, this is kind of sad. And I'm like, you know what? You're right. This is like a, a sad moment. Like, even though it is in pursuit of a bigger dream that you have, it was that like passage of kid to like adult. I was like, oh man, that's interesting how differently that hit. You could just see the look in his eyes of like heartbreak getting rid of all of this stuff. Yeah. And obviously it was in pursuit of a new dream as an adult. Yeah. <laughs> 40 year old. But yeah, I mean, it was, it was sad for him to go through that, but obviously it worked out in the end. He got this big wedding. Hopefully he's going to open up that store as well. Yeah. I don't know if they said his name or if I'm going to butcher it. Mooj? Oh, right. In the store. He was so funny. I feel like his little random outbursts throughout yeah. were hilarious. And I think he was kept telling him to fuck a goat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> that he would get mad at and thinking that Andy was a ringer. He was great. I am not familiar. Jerry Bedknob? No, I don't know. Not don't, familiar. Other than this movie, I don't know. Yeah, but he was super funny. Leslie Mann is hilarious, like always. Yeah. So it was great to see her and that whole scene with the breathalyzer right. and the car chase and the fact that it's like a PT Cruiser, like all of it just lined up perfectly to just be so hilarious. And like, even the music too, like brings us back to like teenage years or yes. whatever. I think that's another cool thing too. It's like, like everyone gets a great funny moment. Like yeah. every character, like even the characters of like his upstairs neighbor. Yeah. Where they're like, oh, he's about to whatever, get laid finally or something. They were great. Yeah. Any of the interactions in the store or the brief moments with Jane Lynch and Steve Carell. Yeah. Like when she was just was coming on to him. It's just like serenade. I need to look that scene up. Like what was she actually saying? Something about football, something I, about soccer. That's gotta be some song about like, oh, I love playing soccer or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I would imagine. I know like a lot of like football soccer fans, like they have like- Chants and Chants songs and things. And so I'm like wondering if it's something along those lines. <laughs> so funny. So good. I also really like the scene where he takes the daughter, Kat Dennings, to like- Loved that scene. Learn more about it. He's just like, I have a question. If you don't use it, do you lose it or- well, and I love that he like took that opportunity to like come out and say like, oh, I'm a virgin too. And for everyone else, it's like, oh, let's, yeah, let's make her feel better and whatever. But like she knew the truth. Yeah. And that was like a good moment for them to connect. Yeah, it was such a great moment. And I, that ties into the love story of this movie and like how close you get to feel because watching it again and like while we're recording, there's time codes that I can kind of see and see how far we're getting into the movie and stuff. And you know, if my memory, if I had to guess, I would assume that that love story starts way earlier on in the movie. But I think we're like an hour, hour and 20 minutes over with the movie before we really even start the relationship with Trish. So it really is very quick how they can establish how much you like Andy and Trish and Andy and the family and stuff. Yeah. So it's really good to tie in at the back quarter of the movie almost to kind of change it from just this objective of him trying to get laid to now like a love story. Yeah, I could watch more of them. Yeah. I loved that love story. I'm also a huge fan of Elizabeth Banks. Yeah. I love her. Like anytime I see her in anything, we're watching Modern Family like on our own. Oh yeah, she, yeah. she's in a couple of episodes. Yeah, she's least. great in that. She's in Hunger Games and- Scrubs. I used to watch her. I, I used to watch Scrubs a lot. And so she's in like at least a couple of seasons, I think. I was thinking about her in that singing movie. Pitch Perfect? Yeah. Yeah. As well. She always just has like her delivery on everything is just so spot on. She has a great laugh. She's great. So obviously it was great to see her in this and <laughs> just that scene in the bookstore when he first goes and talks to her. I don't know what movie they were referring to. 
to have him act like. Oh, I don't know. But I'm assuming it was spot on and it worked. But for the fact that all the guys ended up in her apartment and they were like, no, but she's crazy. Well, even just that first scene too, where he's just standing there with his shirt off and he's just like, this is graphic. <laughs> That was great. I love to see Elizabeth Banks. Also was shocked to see Mindy Kaling. I totally forgot that she's Amy, right? Yeah, yes, Amy. Yeah. yeah. Paul Rudd's ex. That's a great scene too. The speed dating <laughs> with that Gina. Yes, I can shine. You got real feminine features. So this is going to be good for my transition. Or he's just like keeps trying to get the... <laughs> oh my God, the girl's boob was just fully out. Oh my God. Nipple. <laughs> There's so many good moments in this, and I feel like this would be something that I would 100% watch again if it's just on television. Yeah, I mean, you can pick it up at any point yeah. in the movie and have a good time and laugh and stuff. So I'm super happy that I was able to share it with you and surprise that just a random afternoon, we saw the news that had the scene with Paul Rudd because there's absolutely no way I ever would have even suggested this movie to you because I just for sure would have thought that you had seen it. I know. And I did think also that I had seen it, confusing it with Knocked Up. So this was just so good. I'm so glad we got to watch this. And it was so great to put Spooky Season behind us with this. Yeah, a great palate cleanser for uh, Spooky Season. Yeah. And the ending of this movie is also great. <laughs> I mean, you have that great like one minute later and then you have the great two hours later. And and Trish looks absolutely exhausted. Yeah, she's done. But the song at the end is just fantastic. Like, I don't know what decision they were making, but it was great to go into that. Yeah, I mean, I loved like the whole dancing and to bring most of the characters back on to see them again. Yeah, so we've seen a, a good portion of like Judd Apatow stuff and stuff with this crew, like Seth Rogen, Paul Rudd. But there is some things like, uh, we've already talked about a little bit on the channel with American Pie that you haven't seen role models. I think you would love role models. No, I've actually, prior to us talking about it, I'd never heard of that movie. Yeah, it's Paul Rudd. And there's probably some more out there as well. So let us know some recommendations for similar comedies or kind of some that come with this crew because it's hard to remember exactly which ones we've seen and which ones we haven't, but they're all so good that we would love to have them on the channel. So this was a great time and I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, loved it. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this, as well as everything else we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us and any other types of social media, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, peace everyone. Bye. Bye.